This is Hydrogen Tap 1 Series 2. What we're doing here is showing you 12 plates, 5.5 by 3 inches. They're laying down and completely covered. We're running on a 12 volt battery, it's running at 10 amps. What we'll do is we'll check the temperature on this. These are 0 0.018 thick. So you can see the temperature is 60, almost 70. It'll go to 70 degrees. What I'm going to show is we'll do two tests with this, and then we'll put hot water in there. What you're going to see is we're running at over 10 amps here. It's 70 degrees. What we're going to do is put hot water in here and then cold water, and we're going to be running at around the same temperature, only we'll do half the amperage. You can see it's cooling down there. What you see on the top are the bubbles. Hydrogen bubbles are dissipating. The water is pretty clear. No garbage in this water. There is no electrolyte. We're running at 12 volts. And this is tap water. All the tests I've been conducting are using the same spigot. So we should be getting the same pipe residues out of it. As you can see, those are bubbles on the top. What done is restart it again. You can see the amount of hydrogen coming up. These plates produce a lot. These are stainless steel plates. And again, we turn it off, and you'll see the dissipation of the bubbles. It's not off yet. As you can see, it clears down very nicely. What we're going to do next is put hot water from the tap. I guess you would say this is hot water from the hot water heater, to be exact. There's the last test we did was at 68 to 70 degrees. Did two of them, so we make sure that what we saw was the same. What we're going to do is put hot water from the tap, which will be about 100, be over 100 degrees, and then we're going to put cold water in there. As you can see, all that that's on the top are really just hydrogen bubbles. Remember, there's hydrogen and oxygen that comes from here. There's a good look at the plates we're using. Positive, negative, positive, negative. There you're seeing the positive side. The other side is the negative side. Alternate plates. Now we'll put the hot water in there. What you see on the top of the hot water bubbles, and now we turn it on. The 
water temperature is over 100 degrees here, and we'll show you that. And we're drawing over 10 amps, almost 15 amps of current. It should be the hotter the plates, or the hotter the water, the more hydrogen we get out of it. As you can see, temperature's going up. 112, 114, 115.5, It's pretty steady at 116. It might go up a little more. One of the things you'll see of the water a little bit more yellow, running not over 10 amps, which at this point would make sense. But what we're going to show you next is the interesting part. We're going to let this sit. You'll see the bubbles dissipate, dissipate and you notice it's a little bit yellow. What we're going to do next is put cold tap water back in here. And you're going to see an interesting thing happen. When we put this in the cold tap water, what we're going to do is draw less amperage, which makes sense, but you're going to see what appears to be the same amount of hydrogen coming up. At this point, I have no way of testing for that. We have to use our eyes. Here's the cold tap water, 62 degrees. We'll start it up again. see the amount of hydrogen coming up. There is a lot of hydrogen coming up. And if you look at the amp meter, it's not even 10 amps. They're running with cold water with a 12 volt system. Then you can see that water is full of hydrogen. I don't know what we can do with this information, but it is information. One thing we might do is keep the water cooled down while we're using it. There's a lot of information here that needs to be assimilated. Maybe somebody else can come up with the answers. This is the plate system I intend to use in the car. And as you can see, it clears very quickly and it's clean. Cleaner than the hot water. <laughs> 